because it's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's still news analysis live on politics and business TV and I still have Dr. Peter Michael Piper, an energy systems consultant in the studios to discuss, you know, the handful of issues bedeviling Nigeria's power sector. And for you, you do not have a problem with a hike in electricity tariffs. At all. I'm excited about the hike. I'm happy about it. What are your reasons? Well, because first it's an incentive. The hike is an incentive. For who? The masses? The For invest masses? investors. Okay. Investors. Energy is expensive. You know what it costs to get a turbine? So, first we have to understand how is energy generated. What is an energy system? And why is it called an energy system? We have to understand everything that goes into the process. You need a turbine. You need generators. You need um, uh, transformers. You need a whole lot of experts. You, it, it, there's going to be a lot of logistical nightmares. And whatever source of fuel you choose, whether it is oil or gas, it's expensive. But don't we have budgetary allocations for that? That was when it was government's business to provide electricity. And I am trying to say here that... Governments should just focus on policy and allow the private sector to do what they know how to do best, to provide. But privatizing the power sector, has it even brought about any, you know, gains? I think we are just beginning to understand that this is a sector. Nigeria is just beginning to understand the meaning of energy. That energy is expensive to generate. And that when you have successfully generated energy, it is also expensive to distribute. So you can't keep promising the masses as part of the uh, dividends of democracy for supporting you that you're just going to play God. But Let there be light. Who the and there will be light, and no one pays for it. Us. I mean, um, during uh, the electioneering period, they come out to tell you that if you be light. for me, there'll be light you know, everywhere. I'll provide, you know, power. There'll, there'll be, you know, uninterrupted power supply and all of that. So that is why it's quite okay for Nigerians, you know, to want to hold the government to account whether or not the sector has been privatized because they also have a stake in it. Because we have been lied to too many times, they have been lying to us. That it is the government's job to give you light. So when you vote for this man and this man becomes your president or this other man becomes your governor or the local government chairman and they boom, there's just going to be electricity everywhere. And then you turn on the light and you can even waste the light. It's time we begin to think how is electricity generated? What is a turbine? That rotating thing that rotates and then gives you the megawatt that is transformed by the generators into usable electricity. How much does it cost to generate one kilowatt hour? Now, so when you understand how much it costs to generate it, to transmit it, then you begin to realize that if you're paying 200 naira per unit, you have a choice. Now, what's your choice? You're going off to work. Switch off the lights, switch off the refrigerators, switch off the air conditioners. You go to some homes and the air conditioners are all turned on. And the outside light, the security light, everything is turned on and everyone is just walking because they thought it was free. But we need a security light on, don't we? You need it, of course you need it at night. Yes, so yes. you're going to, now, okay, now we, we're night. going to start, 
Uh, do you need the light of the daytime? God said, let there be light. God said yeah, that. Yes, but... but let uh, there be light, yeah, always. Yeah, the always. light God was talking about was the was the light of the sun. Okay. He wasn't talking about a turbine or an independent <laughs> so <laughs> plant. If, if, you, if you say so. Now, a number of Nigerians or analysts, if you like, they've come out to say that this hike in electricity tariff is just, you know, an indirect way of you know scrapping subsidy on electricity but what are your thoughts on this we know recently the imf even came out to say that it's about time you scrap you know this you know ele um, electricity uh, subsidy because it's perhaps you know uh taking a larger chunk of money from you know uh our coffers you, you you can see i'm just i'm just laughing because you're talking about electricity subsidy it is laughable i'm laughing how can you subsidize something you don't have? You don't have electricity and you're subsidizing electricity. What are you subsidizing? You don't have it and you're subsidizing something you don't have. We are just about to begin as, a, uh, um, as an energy sector or industry to understand how electricity is generated through microgrid how electricity is generated through mini grid how electricity is generated through standard grid before we now start talking about a uh, 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 mega power stations and someone is talking about subsidy what have they been subsidizing you know, so why I am excited about this policy is get the government out of the way. Go away with your subsidy. We don't need it. Go away. Back off. And allow the private sector to run this thing. And that's why it's called an energy system. It's an energy system. Let me give you an example. Kanu State. Let's take Kanu State for example. There are 44 local governments in Kano State. What I expect the uh, governor or whoever is in charge in Kano State to do is break down the state into its 44 local government uh, uh, areas and begin to create indigenous energy solutions for each local government area that's why it's called an energy system is that even realistic absolutely realistic should we, and it, should we should we talk about the cost implication of that absolutely and i'm telling you if you follow this method within six to nine months there will be light everywhere there will be no darkness in any area okay so for you uh this hike in electricity tariff for band a customers is a step in the right direction because I mean, this is going to drive, you know, um, investment, you know, and all of that. But then let's talk about the impact it will have on, you know, um, SMEs, businesses, you know, in the country. This is most likely going to trigger the inflation rate. To the contrary, it will do the opposite. For SMEs, for businesses, it's going to do the direct opposite. It's not going to trigger the interest um, uh, the yeah, cost it's going to reduce your cost of doing business let me break it down to you uh, do you know that even education is educational institutions nursery schools primary schools secondary schools do you know in the last term some of them couldn't function why because now almost everything is digital they use smart boards they are air conditioners in the classes they have um uh, ICT lab, they have language lab, uh, even the uh, chemistry, physics lab are all digitalized. So when you don't have electricity and the private schools have to depend on diesel, some proprietors of schools were spending up to 1.5, 2 million, some 3 million naira per month on just diesel. I'm saying private schools. If you give them light, they are not. Uh, 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 they're not going to spend fifty percent of that. In fact, they'll be saving about seventy percent of all of that. Look at hotels. Why are the costs of rooms increasing every day 
in an average hotel, not to talk about the five-star hotels. If you know how much diesel you need to run a hotel of about 100 rooms with 100 air conditioners, 100 water heaters, 100 fridges, not to talk about the other gadgets everyone will use in that hotel. So if you no longer have to go buy diesel to power your generator in that hotel and all you need to do is pay just a paltry amount of 200 naira for just one uh, kilo one hour of electricity they are doing you a favor so the, the issue here so that's is not going to trigger uh, uh inflation is going to bring it down the issue here is the yeah. power supply is epileptic that's why i'm saying it's a good thing because how, now how, as an how investor is it, how is it a good thing people people i mean there are businesses that would even tell you that we don't rely on you know power supply we rather you know uh, get solar panels and all of that i mean that is the new normal now that's a new trend uh, how much is the with the with the cost of the naira and the dollar how much is it now to get solar panels so when you look at all of these costs the renewable energy solution is going to be a lot more expensive to you in the long run. So this tariff not only uh, gives helps the, the user, it helps the investor. Okay. I can now come to an area, I'm still using Kano State as a template. I can come to an area now as an investor and say, hey, I have a gas turbine engine that can give 100 megawatts of electricity so why don't I choose a particular demography in one of the 44 local government areas of Kano State and invest in it and put my turbine with 100 megawatts uh, capacity for just that tiny demography and I have solved their problems what do they want they need light 24-7 I give them light 24 7. What is my assurance that I can get my money back? Then I begin to make the calculation that yet the people within this demography can afford it. Why? Maybe they have industries, maybe they have schools, maybe they have five star hotels, or maybe they have certain uh, 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 things going on there that requires electricity. You have brought me in as an investor. And because I'm coming in as an investor, I am paying tax right. to the government, in increasing the internal generating, uh, uh, the IGR of the states, and the, the, the people running businesses in that place are no longer buying diesel, which is very expensive, and they are paying less. Just do the calculation. Right. You will know it is still cheaper to uh, pay for electricity than to provide it yourself. Well, so much to talk about with a lot to take in. I've been signaled a couple of times that we just have to, you know, uh, wrap up the conversation. And um, the last question I'd like to ask you, Dr. Peter, is do you see an end in sight to, you know, issues be dealt in the power sector? Oh, with all optimism, I can see the light at the end of the mm -hmm. tunnel. There is provision of 24 hours light is possible. The technology is there. So all you need is someone who understands the energy system to help you develop your own unique energy system. All right. And that's where we are right now. Well, I guess that would be a great way to end the conversation. Dr. Peter Michael Piper is an energy systems consultant. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so analysis. much for having me. Thank you. Well, that's it for news analysis today. Thank you so much for watching. I am Omoike. Peace of Samir. Good afternoon.